Hi, I'm Chris from Interfilm. Hello, I'm Graham Wells. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. And I saw your film this morning and I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Thank you. Um, what exactly was it about this film that made you want to go into directing for the first time? Because of how it handles mental health. Growing up, I was anorexic and bulimic from about age 15 to 21, so I wanted to tackle that subject. And then also, my mother dealt with depression for, for a long time, and I remember being embarrassed of bringing people home, bringing friends home, because I didn't know what kind of mood she would be in. And I look back and it's I feel horrible because there's such a stigma against talking about mental health issues, and yet everyone deals with them. And so, you know, it's the whole thing of like, physical pain doesn't have a stigma, so why should mental? So I hope that this movie brings it to the forefront and lets people talk about it openly. You've previously worked as both a writer and an actor, and how do you think these experiences have helped prepare you for your directorial debut? Well, I think every director should take acting classes. Um, Acting is really tough. Uh, being able to just call on emotions at a, at a moment's whim, it's, it's really hard. So having gone through that, I think that it helped me on set realize that the really emotional moments in this film are not easy. And so it was about helping the actors get there. Ah! That's disgusting! Sorry. Alex. That was, that was in your mouth. What's going on? It's nice food on me. Okay, that is disgusting. He's contaminated me. I'm gonna get sick now. Who does that? Who spits their food out? No, I'm gonna have to go and change now. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. So the film deals with some serious issues regarding mental health conditions, but still manages to keep a humorous tone. How did you go about trying to get the right balance? There's a turning point in every scene in which you can go towards smaltz, which is the heavy emotion where everyone's crying and it's all dramatic, or you can go towards humor, which I think is more true to human nature. People try not to cry, and actors try to cry. So it's the difference of people actually hide their emotions as much as possible because they don't want to be seen as vulnerable. And so it's just, it's cherry picking those moments to make it so that it is more like real life. And I do think people laugh at funerals and they cry at weddings. There's some very emotional scenes throughout the film and what was the planning process like for these to make sure that they fully conveyed the intended emotion? We had the luxury of rehearsing a lot, so when we showed up on set, it was almost like it was a play. We had already worked out the kinks, and we could just show it. The balance of emotion comes from what I talked about earlier, which is not going directly to the emotion. It actually brings out more emotion, because that is real life. The film is a remake of the German film Vincent Wants to See. While filming this, did you want to try and stay as true as possible to the original plot, or did you want to try and put your own stamp on it? Well, I kind of believe don't change what's working, and that's a brilliant film. I mean, it won the German Oscar for Best Film and mm. Best Actor. I stayed true to what was working and changed what I wanted to in terms of characterizations, moving some stuff around for more emotional impact. Um, but, but no, I mean, I'm lucky to have uh, been able to remake this film. The film focuses on three characters, each struggling with their own conditions. How do you think film is a useful way of educating people on these issues and the stigmas attached? Well, film is a, is a universal medium. The German film, like I said, it, it spoke to me because I felt something. It didn't matter that I don't speak German. I think film is just such a powerful medium because it portrays human beings. What advice would you give to young people like me who want to get into film? Don't ever lose your point of view. You have to do what you like and what means something to you. Well, thank you very much for sitting down and talking to us today. It's been a pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.